The James Webb Space Telescope has recently unveiled an astonishing structure that's capturing widespread attention in the space sector. In this video, you can view 15 stunning images taken by the telescope that are reshaping our understanding of space exploration. One particularly captivating find is a supernova remnant from 340 years ago, which could hold answers to significant scientific questions about the origins of cosmic dust. While other telescopes like NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory have extensively examined Copia A, the latest JWST images offer a fresh and unprecedented perspective on this extraordinary stellar explosion. By analyzing the remnants of Copia A, scientists aim to understand the origins of cosmic dust, which is essential for the formation of stars, planets, and eventually life. Supernovae such as Copia A play a crucial role in dispersing heavy elements into space, contributing to the formation of cosmic dust. Get ready to be dazzled by the incredible image of Uranus captured by the JWST. This breathtaking view reveals Uranus's complex ring system, prominent moons, and its dynamic atmosphere with exceptional clarity. Unlike the static blue globe seen in Voyager 2's 1986 flyby, the JWST image shows Uranus as a vibrant, evolving world with intricate and shifting weather patterns. It also highlights Uranus's unique 90 degrees tilt, which causes extreme seasons with each pole experiencing prolonged periods of sunlight followed by darkness. The image's exciting detail includes the previously unseen brightening of Uranus's north polar ice cap. The James Webb Space Telescope has also revealed the secrets of Pandora's cluster, a colossal assembly of galaxies formed by the merging of three massive clusters. By utilizing Einstein's theory of general relativity and gravitational lensing, JWST has produced a stunning panoramic view that sheds light on the early universe. Gravitational lensing allowed JWST to peer through dust and gas clouds, showcasing the true splendor of these distant galaxies. The image features a foreground star from our Milky Way amidst the distant galaxies of Pandora's cluster, creating an otherworldly spectacle. JWST has also opened a window to the edge of the universe, presenting an astonishing new image of distant galaxies stretching back to the universe's beginnings. Although it covers just 2% of the sky, this image reveals thousands of galaxies, some too faint for the naked eye to detect. Captured with JWST's near cam, the image uses eight colors of near-infrared light and is part of the GTO program aimed at studying extragalactic areas for reionization and lensing science. The light from the farthest galaxies has traveled nearly 13.5 billion years, offering a glimpse into the early universe. This groundbreaking image enables scientists to estimate the number density of galaxies emitting very faint infrared light, with one team member describing it as truly phenomenal and exceeding all expectations. Dive into the depths of space with this latest image of the L1527 Dark Cloud Nebula, showcasing a protostar in its early stages of formation. This striking image reveals the nebula's hourglass shape with glowing orange and blue boundaries of gas and dust, captured using near-infrared wavelengths. The image was converted to visible colors, offering valuable insights into new star formation. In the upper central region, Bubble-like structures created by sporadic ejections from the protostar are visible. This class zero protostar provides crucial information about the early stages of star formation. The telescope has also captured a remarkable image of the binary star system WR140, showcasing cosmic dust rings ejected into space by the two stars. These rings form when the stars orbit closely, interacting with each other's winds to create visible dust shells. The study revealed at least 17 rings around the binary system, with evenly spaced rings indicating a periodic occurrence every eight years. Analyzing the data with JWST's MIRI instrument, researchers discovered that the surrounding dust contains material vital for star and planet formation, though the origin of the carbonaceous material remains unknown. JWST's new image of Neptune highlights the planet's detailed rings and delicate dust bands. This latest view is a significant improvement over the grainy images from NASA's Voyager 2 flyby in 1989. Utilizing JWST's near cam, which captures near-infrared light, scientists penetrated Neptune's atmosphere to reveal subtle features. Methane gas, responsible for Neptune's blue color, absorbs red and infrared light, making it nearly invisible in the near-infrared spectrum except in areas with high-altitude clouds. 
The image also features Neptune's largest moon, Triton, and seven of Neptune's 14 known moons in the background. NASA's DART mission made significant headlines with its innovative approach to planetary defense by intentionally crashing a spacecraft into the asteroid Dimorphos, which is in orbit around the larger asteroid Didymos. The primary goal of this mission was to test and evaluate methods for deflecting potentially hazardous asteroids that might pose a threat to Earth. This pioneering test aimed to assess whether a kinetic impactor could effectively alter the trajectory of an asteroid, providing crucial information for future planetary defense strategies. Both the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Hubble Space Telescope played critical roles in capturing this historic collision. JWST, known for its unparalleled observational capabilities, continued to monitor the aftermath of the impact for several hours. During this extended observation period, JWST recorded detailed images of the event, revealing a bright core where the collision occurred, as well as wisps and plumes of material being ejected from the asteroid's surface. These images provided valuable data on the dynamics of the collision and the resulting debris. In the captured images, eight distinct diffraction spikes are visible, caused by the unique structure of JWST's mirror. These spikes are a byproduct of the telescope's optical design and are indicative of its high-resolution imaging capabilities. In the coming months, JWST's MIRI mid-infrared instrument and NIR-SPEC near-infrared spectrograph instruments will continue to track and monitor the asteroid, offering further insights into the impact's effects and showcasing the advanced technological prowess of the telescope. In addition to its work with asteroids, JWST has captured stunning images of the Tarantula Nebula, a prominent star-forming region located in a large Magellanic Cloud about 161,000 light-years away from Earth. Also known as 30 Doradus, the Tarantula Nebula is renowned as the brightest stellar nursery within our local group of galaxies. This nebula serves as a critical area of study for astronomers seeking to understand the processes of star formation. Using its high-resolution infrared instruments, JWST has uncovered thousands of young stars within the nebula, along with intricate details of the surrounding gas and dust. The images reveal a wealth of information about the nebula's structure and the formation of new stars. The composition of the Tarantula Nebula closely resembles that of ancient star-forming regions from the early universe, offering scientists a unique opportunity to study star formation in a context similar to the universe's formative years. This data enhances our understanding of the conditions and processes that prevailed during the early stages of star and galaxy formation providing crucial insights into the evolution of the cosmos. A breathtaking image of the spiral galaxy M74, located 32 million light years away in the constellation Pisces, has also been captured. M74's elegant spiral arms are shown in a new light, revealing intricate filaments of blue and pink gas and dust. This image, part of the physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies, PHANGS survey, aims to study stars, star clusters, and dust within 19 galaxies, enhancing our understanding of star formation and the properties of interstellar dust. The Cartwheel Galaxy, located 500 million light years away, has been unveiled in all its chaotic glory. This galaxy's unique structure, resulting from a high-velocity collision with a smaller galaxy, features two visible rings extending from the impact site. The inner ring is rich with hot dust and young star clusters, while the outer ring is filled with supernovae and newly formed stars. Previous images from Hubble were enhanced by JWST's infrared camera, revealing even more stars. Jupiter, the solar system's largest planet, has been imaged with remarkable detail by JWST. These images reveal intricate features of its stormy atmosphere and vibrant auroras. One image shows Jupiter through three different filters, highlighting swirling clouds and bright auroras at its poles, including the Great Red Spot, a massive storm visible at high altitude. The colors in the images are false, as JWST captures infrared light, allowing it to peer through Jupiter's thick atmosphere and reveal details not visible with optical telescopes. Finally, JWST has provided stunning views of the Southern Ring Nebula, a planetary nebula formed from a red giant star explosion located about 2,000 light-years away. JWST's high-resolution infrared imaging has uncovered intricate details of the nebula's dust cloud, offering new insights into its composition and structure. 
the Southern Ring Nebula is particularly intriguing for its clues about the life cycle of stars. Additionally, the telescope has captured a mesmerizing image of Stefan's Quintet, a group of galaxies 290 million light years away. The image reveals clusters of young stars and bursts of star formation, showcasing the powerful capabilities of JWST's infrared instruments. Stefan's Quintet is notable for its gravitationally bound galaxies, with one, NGC 7320, being closer to Earth than the others. The Carina Nebula, a cosmic marvel located 7,600 light years away in the Southern Hemisphere, has been beautifully imaged by JWST. The image displays towering peaks of glowing gas and dust reaching up to seven light years high. The nebula is a hotbed of intense star formation, with young hot stars shaping its form with ultraviolet light and charged particles. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has also made remarkable advancements in studying distant exoplanets, offering insights into their atmospheres and potential habitability. One of the most exciting discoveries is the detailed analysis of the atmosphere of the exoplanet WASP-96b, a gas giant located approximately 1,150 light years from Earth. The telescope's advanced instruments have allowed scientists to detect the presence of water vapor, along with signs of clouds and possible haze in its atmosphere. This observation marks a significant step forward in understanding the atmospheric composition of exoplanets and assessing their potential to support life. In another groundbreaking study, JWST has captured unprecedented images of the environment surrounding the black hole at the center of the galaxy M87. This black hole, famously imaged by the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, in 2019, has been observed by JWST in the infrared spectrum, providing new details about the complex structures of the surrounding accretion disk. By combining data from JWST with those from other observatories, astronomers are gaining a more comprehensive view of the processes occurring near supermassive black holes and their influence on galactic evolution. The telescope's capabilities have also extended to the detailed study of planetary nebulae, such as the Helix Nebula. Often referred to as the Eye of God due to its appearance, the Helix Nebula has been captured in extraordinary detail by JWST's instruments. The new images reveal intricate structures within the nebula, including the fine distribution of gas and dust ejected by the dying central star. These observations enhance our understanding of the life cycle of stars and the formation of planetary nebulae, which play a crucial role in enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements. JWST's observations have also made significant contributions to the study of cosmic filaments, vast, thread-like structures that connect galaxy clusters. These filaments are critical to understanding the large-scale structure of the universe. The telescope's ability to capture high-resolution images in the near-infrared spectrum has provided new insights into the distribution of dark matter and the formation of cosmic structures. By mapping these filaments, scientists are better able to trace the growth and evolution of the cosmic web, which influences the distribution of galaxies and the overall structure of the universe. In the realm of stellar nurseries, JWST has provided new perspectives on the Cygnus X region, a massive star-forming complex located around 4,500 light-years from Earth. The telescope's high-resolution infrared observations have revealed numerous young stars and protostars embedded within dense clouds of gas and dust. These observations are crucial for understanding the conditions that lead to star formation and the subsequent evolution of young stellar systems. Furthermore, JWST has examined the galactic center with unprecedented detail. This region, densely packed with stars, gas, and dust, is known for its complex dynamics and the presence of a supermassive black hole. By observing this area in the infrared spectrum, JWST has provided valuable data on the distribution of stellar populations and the interactions between stars and the central black hole. This research helps to unravel the mysteries of the inner workings of our galaxy. As the JWST continues to explore the cosmos, it is set to unveil more secrets about the universe's formation, evolution, and the potential for life beyond our solar system. Its advanced technology and observational capabilities are paving the way for a deeper understanding of the universe and its myriad phenomena.